All right, this is the final piece, applications of percent. So these are real life situations in which you will find yourself applying percents. Okay, so this first example, Daniel's a salesman. Uh, he makes 4% commission on a pickup truck, pickup truck he sold, how much is his commission? All right, you've got 4%, you know how much the truck costs. So what you do is, you know, part equals percent times whole. All right, so we've got 4%, so 4%. Now you can convert. You can convert to a decimal. That's always an option. All right, so 4% times 8,000, which equals uh, $320. All right, now you can represent it another way, 0 0.04 times $8,000, and let's keep our units in here, um, $320 is what Daniel will make on the sale of that particular truck. All right, Janet goes to Outback. She spends $45. Um, she wants to leave, leave a 20% tip. How much is the tip? Again, you know the whole, you see the percent. So again, part equals percent times the whole. All right, 20%. times $45 equals, that's a $9 tip. All right, and let's keep the units in there. So for final bill, just add the tip to the $45. All right, this next one, we, go, we, we see this all the time, you go into a store, and you have 75% off, 50% off, 25% uh, off, 15% off, all right? So all we're gonna do is when we, we apply this principle, a chair originally cost $179, all right? That's your whole, it's 30% off. All right, now the key is this next question. How much can I save, all right? So we're not asking what's the new price. How much can I save? if I buy it now. All right, so we know part equals percent times the whole. So percent was 30%. The whole price is $179. All right, now you can convert, again, 30% to a decimal, 0.3 or 0 0.30. Same exact answer. Uh, so 0 0.30 or 30% times $179. And our savings in this particular case is $53.70. All right, that's your savings. Now, the next, the next example, we'll take what we just did and we're going to add it. An, uh, an additional step. So in this particular problem, we've got a $74 chair. It's on sale for 25% off, and we want to know how much will it cost if we buy it now. So you've got your whole, you've got your percent, so part equals 74, I'm sorry, let's write the formula percent times the whole. Now this question says how much will it cost? So it's two steps. So let's first we're gonna find out how, how much we'll save. So that's 25 percent times $74. And we end up with a savings of $18 and 50 cents. All right, now the new price. What we'll do is we'll take the original $74. We'll subtract out how much we saved, which was $18 
and 50 cents, which means our new price is $55 and 50 cents. All right, so that's the new price. So now just anytime you do a problem, back up once you get your answers and check for reasonableness. All right, the price went down. So the new price should be less than the original price, okay? And sometimes students get caught, and it's not that they don't know what's happening. It's, it's, it's they're not slowing down and, and, and thinking about their solutions, okay? So the new price should never be more than, uh, particularly if you're getting a discount, okay? If you're getting a discount, the new price should never be more than the original price. All right, and then this last piece, we're going to take that same principle, and this time we're not, we're not applying discounts. We're applying taxes, okay? So same principle, you're going to have part equals percent times whole, and then what you're going to do, instead of subtracting, we're going to add. So we'll see that's by way of example. All right, so in this final example, the total price of a sofa is $560 plus 7% sales tax. How much is the sales tax? So now notice, always slow down, that's one thing. They ask you one question, what's the sales tax? Second question is, what is the final price? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna find sales tax first. And we're gonna find final cost second. All right, so sales tax, we've got Part equals percent times the whole. All right, percent was seven percent or point zero seven times five sixty or five hundred and sixty dollars. So that's $39.20. All right, that's taxes. You can put sales tax, or put your unit, sales tax, or description. Final cost is your original price plus your sales tax. Clean this up just a little bit. All right, add those together. Your final cost is five hundred ninety-nine dollars and twenty cents. That's your final out-the-door price, and that's how we apply percents to real-life situations.